Hey, what's up, you guys? We're back again with the Toyota, and we actually just got back from AutoZone. We picked up this center console thing right here for the cup holder. We don't have any cup holders in this uh, pickup. Well, I don't think any of these pickups came with cup holders. Even when this had the center console, it didn't have cup holders. So our plan was first to like tuck it in there and hope for this to work, but. It's not gonna fit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it around and then hopefully this tucks in under this piece right here and we're able to cut this part out and slide it over the shift knob kind of like that and then hopefully these fit right here so there's another car which we're gonna do on a Volkswagen that we had in the past we we're gonna put the uh, cup holders right here and it had like a little it would slide out and it had something else up here. I forgot what it was called. But if you put the cups here, it's going to block the, the stereo. So hopefully this gives us a little more room. I mean, it'll still block, but not as much as having the drinks like right in front of it. So we went ahead and we marked this back part right here. We're going to cut like around four inches off of it to tuck it underneath this uh, shifter boot. And um, then found the center of it and then we kind of drew around it. But we came up with the idea of using a hole saw to drill this whole circle thing out. And hopefully it fits under this. Because un these are all squares, but this last piece right here is a circle. So hopefully four inches is big enough to fit underneath this piece right here. Well, we're about to find out. So let me go ahead and drill this thing out and then um come over here and tuck it in place and then these should fit under here and we'll probably just drill two little holes to put some screws in to hold it in place which i don't think it'll be needed but you know just just to have it secure so we're actually gonna go ahead and use a five inch hole saw so let's see how this comes out All right, so this is what we have. And <clears throat> we're just gonna use the file to clean up the edges real quick. Oh, and by the way, this thing is only like five bucks. So if we mess up, it's not a big deal. Okay. Let me go ahead and use the file to clean all this up and then um, we'll throw it on the truck. All right, so we threw it on and this is how it fits. Put this bottle over here. We can still get to the radio. And um, we did use the five inch hole saw, but then you can see the gap back here. So we're gonna get another one and cut it with the four inch, but not, not anytime soon, probably like later on when we redo the interior. And you could kind of get to the coins. It's kind of like tucked away this pocket back here you won't be able to get to because it's under the dash and uh yeah so we're gonna see if we could actually i'm not even sure we might just leave it like this there's some play but i don't think it's enough play to like knock the drink out because if we use a screw on this side it's gonna push it to that side unless we let me see yeah Actually, let me see. Let me try to measure from the center of this to the bolt hole. So let me show you guys real quick. So we need a smaller hole than this five inch hole. So this kind of sits on this, which is not bad, but I'm gonna measure from here. Yeah, like from the center of this thing all the way to the hole, the center of this bracket. And then I could transfer the measurement from the center of of this from here to about here. And then drill a hole like out of the way. Maybe somewhere right here and here. And I'll put two screws and hopefully I'll be able to pull it evenly. But for the most part, that's basically where it will sit. 
and uh, this whole thing uh, so the five inch is it, it works but we just don't want to see like the extra gap on the sides so that's the only reason we're gonna do it and then this is gonna be back there so you're not gonna be able to store anything in it I mean you can but you just would have to like pull out the this little cup holder thing in order to get to it okay so this is what we have so far drill the hole right here there's another hole right here right there and we measured from the center of the screw holes back here right here to like about there and it, we roughly uh, measured eight and a half inches and then we went half an inch up from the edge so this is where we got our holes and we went into the existing bracket if you have an automatic truck you just throw this on there and you, no issues you could even probably flip it around and this will tuck in there so now it's pretty sturdy yeah. all the gears work we have a cup right here. Not in the way. Even with the cup right there, you can still get to the radio and stuff. And it's only for what five, six bucks with taxes out the door. It's pretty good. So hopefully this video helps you out with the cup holder situation for these pickup trucks. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at yonke underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below. And we'll catch you in the next one.